family and friends and fellow YouTubers, it's Kim here from Kim's Country Corner. And today I'm at my apartment in Monroe City, Missouri. And I'm going to be working on the small front garden here in front of my apartment. Um, there used to be a small, I don't know, like two foot wide garden back close to the wall. And uh, I was given permission to extend it out uh, to be even with my patio area. So that's what I did last fall was I took out all of the old flowers and uh, extended the flower bed. And then uh, I did put in some winter gem boxwoods last fall. But that's the only thing I did uh, last year was remove the old flowers, put in the boxwoods, and build up the soil. And uh, then I let it set over the winter. And now that I am here and I have some time, I want to start developing this front garden area to represent me, to be my garden. So um, I'm guessing that this is about, I don't know, I would say four feet wide by eight feet long right here. And uh, so that's what I'm working with. Um, like I said, I have been building up soil uh, to get it more level. And, uh, and then I have more soil to add today. But uh, I thought I would bring you along as I do this project and hopefully you'll enjoy watching me as much as I enjoy doing it. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, first thing I'm gonna show you is the layout and what plants I have going in. So let's take a look at that. Okay, so I have some blanket flowers here that I want to put in. Um, this is going to be my color palette, are the uh, reds and the yellows. I like that combination. Um, it just kind of pops at me and I like that. So that will be my color palette. But let me just kind of give you an over look of the garden so you'll see what I'm working with here uh, with the bare bones. I found this really cute garden sign the other day at um, Lowe's. Let's see if I can get it to straighten out here. And it's a little gnome that just says, be kind with B spelled B-E-E. -E. And uh, I think we can all use reminders of that to be kind. As you can see, I am kind of working with a little bit of a breeze this morning, but that's okay. Um, it's not heavy wind, just a nice breeze. So I have some uh, cow manure and compost here ready to put in uh, to add some good soil. This is the bare bones that I'm working with. Um, it's pretty well an empty bed with just the three boxwoods. Now these back here our fake screening to cover up wiring. My apartment is the one that has all the wiring in front of it and I hate that. And of course my boxwoods aren't gonna be tall enough for a few years to cover that. So I bought some cheap, um, cheap privacy screening type material to cover that up. And then over here it's even got more wiring plus a box in there. So this is just to kind of add a little bit of um, covering for those yucky wires. And then I wanted to add um, a fairy garden to my area. So this pot right here is eventually going to have a uh, soil in it and fairy garden materials. I'll be doing a different video on that. And then this one up here, you know you know how I like to have balance, guys. Gotta have my balance, so tub at that end, tub at this end. And this one I will just be putting angles in. Um, I hope to use perennials in the main bed, but I do like some annuals, and so I'll use that tub for my annuals. Okay, so I'm working with this blank bed here, and besides the blanket flowers over there, um, I'm going to be using some daylilies. 
and uh, these are the red with the yellow daylilies and they are called ruby spider daylilies and I just thought that was a really pretty color combination and then I have some herbs and some geraniums to put into the um, fairy garden there and then this is a true cottage garden I guess you would say because I do have my tomato plants <laughs> true cottage gardens incorporate vegetables in with the flowers so um, I did decide to go ahead and bring up a couple of tomato plants. The potting soil will go in for the fairy garden. These are bee bombs that I really need to get watered and into the ground. And then these are irises that I had dug up out at the farm uh, to kind of thin them out and I need to get them into the ground. Uh, they look pretty bad right now, but they'll, they'll spring back. So, and I do have some uh, spray to treat the leaf fungus with so all right let's get started um just to kind of give you guys a general idea uh, my garden here faces south is on the south side just like the south side garden that's over there on the other side it's just um sticks out a little bit more here uh and it's got an east end and a west end but it gets mostly sun like almost all day long. It is nine o'clock in the morning and I already have mostly sun. It'll be sun all the way up until about five or six and then I start getting a little bit of shade. So this is mostly a full sun garden. All right, let me put you guys back on the tripod and I will get started. So these might look a little droopy right now, but they will bounce back and in a day or two they're going to look just great. I will use the soil that I dug out 
to fill in around low places um, and just to keep leveling this bed out. So, um, so yeah, so now the blanket flowers are finished. I'm going to move on to the lilies. And the lilies, what I'm going to do is I'm going to flank each side of these uh, blanket flowers with lilies. With the red and yellow lilies. And let's see. I think I have eight of them, so I'm going to put four on each side. try to zigzag them so they're not gonna be side by side but they'll be like zigzag So once again, I'm going to put water in around the roots. Before filling them in with dirt.
All right, let's get these watered in so there are no air pockets. And plus, we'd like to rinse them off so they look pretty. And
holes in the bottom of this because there are drain holes. Okay, so I'm not going to put the fairy garden in today, that'll be a different project, but I have it all ready. I'm also not going to put the irises in just yet, um, but they'll be ready to go in soon too. All right. Okay, family and friends. Well, I think I have a really nice start here on my apartment garden. Um, I have a spot for some annuals. I have daylilies, some blanket flowers, more daylilies, a place for a fairy garden, and then my uh, winter gem boxwoods will provide the winter interest that I need, plus a nice background to all my flowers. And uh, I do have more to go in, but that's going to be it for today. So if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. And if you want to know more about what's going on in my corner of the world, hit that subscribe button to Kim's Country Corner. All right, I will talk to you all later. Bye for now. Have a good day.